Now let's talk a lot about some preschoolers learning ABCs, and eh, not so fast. Some other ones are on their way to a career in science here. We're going to check in with Nick Saccone over there. He's got some very sharp kids with him. Hiya, Nick. Hiya, Joe. Here we are. First off, we're with Colin Hatfield. And by the way, if you're wondering where we're at, we're at the Northwest Montessori House of Children. They're having a science fair today. Colin, tell us the name of your experiment. Glass, or glass Oregon. A glass organ. Okay. And why does the glass of water make a sound? Okay. <laughs> because of vibration. And why is the sound different in each glass? Because the water level is different. All right. Well, why don't you play us a tune? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> you want to readjust them a little bit? All right. Now play us, play us a little tune. Oh, you got to get them a little harder than that. Come on. Give them a little more action. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Colin. He used to have five glasses. That's why I think you're taking it easy on these ones, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good enough. All right. We'll come over next. We're with Rowan Alonzo. What is the name of your experiment? Volcano. Volcano. What is a volcano? Volcano is a mountain that can erupt and hot lava comes out. All right. And so what is vinegar? Is that what you're doing here? Vinegar is a acid. Oh, Mommy, okay. I'll show you how it works. It's my overflow baking soda. Oh, yeah. Keep going. You got a lot more uh, fuel in there. See, that's why it won't. Look, it's over. It blasted. All right. Very good. Thank you, Rowan Alonzo. He's five, by the way. Colin, who we were just talking with, he's four years old. We're going to get with Ranak Chandok. He's five years old. Tell us, uh, what is the name of your experiment? Doorbell. Okay, and how does a doorbell work? You have to say you work in the far enough of it will flow around in a complete circle. When you press the close and the circle is not complete, and the bell is not ring. All right, so you have a circuit here going. And if the clothespin, which you have here, if you take out that paper, what happens? The circuit is, the, the bell ring because the circuit is complete. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Why don't you show us what you do there? There you go. All right, so that's your doorbell. Does anybody ever answer the door? Yeah. <laughs> what do they say? There's no door around. There's only one square window. What are you talking about? We're in a building. Of course there are doors here. All right, I'm messing with you a little too much here. Uh, uh, Rowan, how's your, how's your volcano doing here? Is it finally uh, done erupting? Uh, no. <laughs> Put some more. Cool. How did you get this idea to make a volcano? Uh, fall down. Because it, it has volcanic acids exploding out. All right. Thanks, guys, very much. You are uh, very good and very uh, clever there, guys. We're at the Northwest Montessori House of Children, and it's their science fair day. That's why we're down here, so we're learning a little bit from the kids who are learning a lot. And they're all four and five years old out uh, of these three kids, so they go up to six here. So very smart young minds. Joe? Yeah, Nick, I hate it when four- and five-year-olds are smarter than me. Yeah, I know. Oh, well. Makes me feel young. Who said? Old. Zach said, what would you say? <laughs> Zach said it's not very hard to be smarter than me. Ah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. Yeah.